We set out for Utah at 5 a.m. here in Washington. It's an 11 to 12 hour drive, and despite my best effort to get out of the Seattle area without hitting traffic, I failed. After taking Snoqualmie Pass, we stopped to eat breakfast at a rest area. I vlogged for two minutes, but my camera mic port decided not to work again. Hey everyone. We just crossed into Oregon. We had another rest area. Took a shortcut through some really barren desert farm areas. Really cool. So yeah, back in the car we go. The drive went smoothly for a few hours. And shortly after stopping for gas in Eastern Oregon, the car broke down. We were stranded 400 miles from home and 350 miles to go. We're here in Ontario, Oregon. I know I said we check in when we got to Idaho. Idaho's about a, less than a mile that way. It's right at the bridge. Um, I don't know if you can see, but that was too bright. You can see Idaho. Um, so we're basically Idaho. Here's what happened. We were driving up a really steep hill going, you know, 70. We're passing a semi. And I had cruise, cruise control on. Suddenly the car just started lurching, so I had to slow down and I couldn't get it to speed back up. So I pulled over to the right lane behind the semi, basically put it in neutral, it just started coming down the hill. And then there's nothing wrong with the car, it was fine. So that was weird. And I was like, well, it's working fine now. Like we got it back up to speed, probably went for not quite an hour, probably an hour almost, of just driving and it was fine. Got to this town in Ontario because I wanted Dutch Bros, because I love Dutch Bros and I haven't had it in like a year and a half. So we pulled into the drive-thru and we we're just pulling out, the freeway's just like two blocks from the coffee shop. Speed limit's like 35. We got up to like 28 miles per hour. The car started lurching again, would not go above 25, and would drop back down. So we went across the freeway and pulled into like a gas station and the car just like died on us. Like I couldn't even move the steering wheel oh, yeah. anymore. And we tried checking like the transmission fluid and the oil. We couldn't get the oil thing open because the engine was really hot because it's 100 degrees here. Yeah, 100 degrees here. And it was in direct sunlight and the engine was hot because we just drove for six hours. And then while we were doing that, the check engine light came on. Of course, I have no idea what that means because it could mean anything. So we took it to an auto zone. They did a check or something with the fuel pump. It's a newer car. It's a 2013 Chevy Sonic. And then eventually the check engine light just went off, but we didn't want a chance taking off down the highway again, getting out of town, because then if we're stuck on the side of the interstate, that wouldn't be good. So we just stayed here in Ontario, Ontario, whatever it is, and, and my dad is driving the remaining six hours on his end from Utah up with the truck, and tomorrow morning we're just going to tow the car on the back of the truck with one of those U-Haul dollies for the cars. And then we're going to drop it off at a Chevy dealer, get it fixed, and then we can drive it home in a few days. So, a little hiccup in the road trip, but we weren't planning on doing anything today anyway. Uh, the plan for tomorrow, Wednesday, was just Jess and I were going to do stuff because my dad works. So instead, we'll just be driving there. We'll still have Thursday, Friday to check stuff out. My dad arrived from Utah at close to midnight, and we're prepared to continue our journey east. I'm not gonna show you like the plates, but we've got my car on a U-Haul uh, vehicle dolly, and my dad's here, and we're going to haul it to Utah. So I'm gonna show you plates and stuff. There's my car. Should have been able to make it. It's new on a U-Haul dolly here in middle of nowhere, Ontario. Getting in the truck now. We were on the road again, boom and tow. 
I had never passed through this area before. Boise looked cool off in the distance, and the city gave way to desolate land. Our route followed I-84 East, and we stopped for gas and lottery tickets briefly in Twin Falls, Idaho. Stopped here at a gas station in Twin Falls, Idaho, and we got gas, and my dad and Justin went inside to go buy lottery tickets, and I'm watching all the stuff. Almost everything that could have gone wrong for our family and us these past two days has gone wrong, so... Don't know why that is. It's like everything involving this move to Utah has not gone according to plan. Just, you still haven't sold our house since we're in the market for like two months. And it's the Seattle housing market that nothing is selling in the Seattle area suddenly, even though it's the hot market. Just nothing is selling, nothing's going through. So we're just sitting here losing money, trying to move, but we can't. But my dad moved because he had to take the job, but we can't be there. It's a mess. I'm not very optimistic anymore. I tried to be optimistic about the whole thing. And I, I do, I'm going to try to be more positive with this channel and my videos, keeping them positive. That's why I haven't really talked about like the move much other than my announcement. I've been focusing on making hiking videos and adventures. Um, just to keep my channel positive. But there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, behind the scenes. Um, so we're just working through all of that. What has taken them so long to get lottery tickets? On Thursday, we took my car to the local Chevy dealer and set off in the truck to explore our future home. First up, Ogden and Ogden Canyon. In downtown Ogden, we saw the historic Union Station, and then headed for the canyon. I was surprised to see so many trees in Utah, which made it feel more like home. East of the mountains, we drove around a reservoir that I'd love to visit again. From there, we took another mountain pass back to the city and stopped at a viewpoint. Just look at that view. We drove up to Logan and entered the National Forest there. Alright, we've been driving around some canyons here in Utah. Now we're just outside of Logan and Logan Canyon. Made a quick stop here at a river. There's a lower dam right over here. And you can see quite a few fish in the water. I'd never seen so many fish just chilling in a river before. have spent more time exploring Logan Canyon, but we had to get my car from the service center. Spoiler, they didn't fix it. On our second full day in Utah, we were greeted by the sound of fighter jets screeching overhead. That was pretty neat. Then we headed over to Antelope Island State Park, and even saw bison. That was a cool experience. I can't wait to hike all of the trails on the island, although the bugs sucked. After Antelope Island, we returned to downtown Ogden and got lunch at a place called Iggy's. The food was good, and I definitely see myself returning. Alright, so, so far today we've checked out Antelope Island, which was pretty cool. Saw a lot of buffalo. Now we are here in downtown Ogden, and we're just going to check it out. Alright, we're still in downtown Ogden. We just had lunch at some place called Iggy's. It's pretty good. We set off for home just after 4 a.m. the following morning. Despite all of the problems with my car, I drove it home without incident, and the problem seems to have disappeared. Washington is such a beautiful place. It has everything, 
mountains, trees, desert, the ocean, volcanoes, a rainforest, the list goes on and on. Washington will always be my home, but I can't wait to begin the next chapter of my life. I'll be seeing you again real soon, Utah.